Hey guys, what is up? It's Wacky Rambo here, and welcome to the Saturday Gaming News Show. So, today we're just going to jump right into it, and so the first news of today is the shutdown of Disney Infinity is a confusing nightmare. So, so they have received some clarification about the end dates of support for the PC versions of the game, although it is still complicated. So, Disney plans for the PC version are bizarre and unclear, so, you know... The Disney Infinity game has some plans, but, you know, that's what the news of today is about. So, uh, the PC version of the game, but directly through Disney Infinity website, will not be di playable or available after September 30th. After March 3rd, 2017, the Windows Store version will not be playable. The Steam version of the game will function normally, but without online su support. Okay, so earlier this year, Disney announced that it had ended a production on the Disney Infinity series and that it was essentially getting out of game development. Today, the company announced when it will end online services and support for the different versions of the game across all its platforms. And it's a confusing, contradictory nightmare. Okay, so, so I guess I don't know really what happened with the game, but the game, they, Disney decided to shut down the game out uh, it's, it's unknown why the news is, well, they shut down the game, I don't know why, but I guess they're releasing the dates today about when it's gonna, they're gonna shut down everything. Well, as you read, as you heard, um, on Steam, it's still gonna be there, just no online stuff, so, yeah. Okay, so next off, we got more Pokemon Go news. Now, Pokemon Go is still one of the most popular games out there. No, it's still the most popular game out there currently. So, Pokemon Go updates will be more respectful to the real world places. Pokemon Go Pokemon Company Re Republic says it's working on features that keep the game fun but also respect the world. So, Pokemon Go started rolling out a couple weeks ago and many real world locations have been seen in influx of traffic. This is because they've been marked as gyms or Pokestops, and many of these places want the ability to opt out. In the interview with the LA Times, the Pokemon Company's J.C. Smith said that it's working on the new features that are appealing to the fans, but also respectful of the private institutions that are affected by it. There's currently an option to request the removal of a Pokestop or gym. But it's not an instant solution. When something is really popular, we have to figure out most respectful way to deal with it and make sure that everyone is playing safely and doing things in a respectful manner. It's only been two weeks since it launched and there's been many attention and so many people playing that it's tough to think of all the ways it could affect the world. So this is pretty good for Pokemon because, you know, um... There's been more Pokemon news of bad things happening, but so uh, it's good that Pokemon is doing this because they're just trying to make the game fun and better and safer because that's what all games should be about, you know. Like, even it says that there's a Pokestop that once, that one place that has had its Pokestop removed is the Holocaust Museum in Washington, D.C. Well, I mean, yeah, it makes sense because it's a museum and... There's going to be a ton of people there just playing Pokemon, but that's not what the museum is for. So, yeah. So, it makes sense. I think Pokemon is m doing a really good job on this. I mean, they're doing what's right, as I said. Making the game safer, more fun, and, yeah, making it better just in general. Okay, so next up, we got Shenmue Director Returns to Work on Shenmue 3. Okay, so this is a new game. Um... A key figure from the development of the original Shenmue will be con con contributing to Shenmue 3, developer WiseNet announced today. In an update posted on Kickstarter, Wise revealed that Keji Akayasu has joined their development team working on Shenmue 3. Akayasu was involved from the early stages of development on the original game, serving as its game and produce director. He also worked on Shenmue 2. Though he estimates he let af he left after about 70% was completed. The Kickstarter update is accompanied by a short interview video with Okasayu. 
Okay, yes, I'm sorry. Who was credited as sub-director on Shenmue 3. That's also how he describes his role in, on the first two games. He was working as president of a small Japanese development company, Studio Faki, when Shenmue created Yuzuki Yuz came to him and requested he work on the new game. Okay, so I don't know about this game, but I, I guess it's been there. Uh, obviously, there's a third one coming out, and this guy, um, this guy, um, Kenji Oja Okajasu, is. I guess he worked on the games before, and he had left in the two, but now he's coming back, and that's pretty good for the game, I guess. I guess he did a pretty good job on the game, so. Next and last, we have the last one of today. Um, Metal Gear f franchise sales top 49 million as Konami profits increase. Okay, so Konami has released its earnings report for the first physical quarter, which ended on June 30th. And while revenue dropped slightly, it also saw jumps in profit. Revenue for the quarter was 49.4 billion yen, about 481.5 million dollars, down 3.5 percent from what the company generated during the game period last year. Operating profit, though, was up to 9.1 billion yen, 88.7 million dollars, up to 40.2 percent year over year. This comes to despite to the company's patches lot business taking a big hit earning 88.2% less in revenue than last year and actually losing money for the quarter. Konomi think, thanks its health and fitness category and, to a large extent, its digital entertainment segment, which covers console and mobile games for a turning profit. Digital entertainment revenue was 5.6% to 2 to 25.2 billion yen, $245.5 million with profit up to 34.3% three, to 8.7 billion yen, $84.7 million. Most of the new games contributing to this were limited to Japan. Games like Jikoyu Pawafuru Puroyakiu 2016, the latest in Konomi's Power Pro Baseball series, were the only release in Konomi's native country. Its only international release was the UEFA Euro 2016 update for PES 2016, the soccer game, which is given away for free as an apology for issues with the game rosters, other worldwide contributors, or mobile games, Starter Wars, Force Collection, and PES Club Manager. Okay, so, as you guys heard, Metal Gear franchise, you know, that's pretty good. So, they're making a lot of money out of this game. I, I hear it's a really good game. I haven't played it yet, but, um, you know, so uh, thanks guys for watching today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the Saturday news. You got your dose of, you know, of your gaming news. You don't have to, you know, just watch the video. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you really enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, any anything like that, leave it down in the box below and. Please, if you want more gaming content, I keep doing my gaming, and every Saturday I'm doing the Saturday news show. So thanks for watching, guys, and please subscribe, and goodbye.